In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the TeclaTeds API to run multiple concrete beam designs for the same set of the design forces, but varying the reinforcement each time in order to compare the results for different configurations. I've already got a project where I have some code to read the input parameters for the section to use for the design, the design forces, and then the code to actually run the calculation. So let's now start changing this single example to do multiple designs. First of all, I'll just put some additional output to the console, which is going to summarize the designs that I'm, I'm doing, showing the number of bars, the size of bars, and the reinforcement utilization. Then I'm going to define an array for the, the number of bars that I want to try, in this case, two, three, or four. I'll also define an array for the different bar sizes. I'll just stick to 16 and 20 for the moment. And now I need to start writing the loops that are going to run through those two arrays to try the different configurations. So I'll start with the number of bars first, followed by the bar sizes. And then I'll move all of my existing code into that loop so that on each iteration of the loop, it will complete a single design. Now I'm going to add the information for the reinforcement. So again, I'm going to use a set var method to define the inputs for the number of bars on the top, the bar size on the top, and the number of bars on the bottom and the bar size on the bottom. I'll then just amend these variables slightly to shorten them just to make it, the code look slightly more concise. And then finally, I'm going to write to the console the number of bars top and bottom and the bar size that I'm using, and then the output results, the utilization for the top reinforcement, bottom reinforcement, and shear reinforcement for this single design. And then finally, I'll just complete uh, the table with a footer so that I know the design is completed. Now, let's build that. And that bit without error and we can start with our design. So let's input the parameters for our design. And we don't want to show the user interface. So now it will run the TEDS calculator, set up the input for the design as well as the reinforcement that we're going to try on each attempt. And then it will report the result for each design to the console window. And now all of our designs have been completed and I can see the results for all the different configurations. And I could now easily go and change this program and set up different arrangements for the number of bars and the bar sizes in order to try a different arrangement. 